Hello people, welcome! This is episode 18 of my Minecraft Let's Play series, season 3. I am really happy because uh, I installed the latest version of Mistcraft 0.8.2 and it's now compatible with uh, the mod loads that I have. That's uh, great because uh, I will now be able to travel to other realms, so to speak. Uh, for that I'm going to need books, which I don't have any right now. And you can see here I have a fairly good amount of uh, theories researched already for researching. Plus some here. It's, it's nice to have this working without me needing to be pretty, uh, very much attentive. I might automate it in, a, in, the, in the close future. And I also might uh, automate my sugarcane farm. Anyway, about changes. Yes, changes. The, I also installed the latest version of Thumbcraft. Thumbcraft 2, uh, well, I don't remember the, the number exactly, but you can see now I can use uh, this one block uh, height differences, like, they, like if they were, I don't know, um, stairs. Which is kind of nice, I must say. Hey! <coughs> Mostly because my... Oh, hi! How are you doing? Because of this. Now I can go down or up without needing to go jumping or placing stairs or whatever. Also, you can see I run notably faster. I am only using the boots of striding. Uh, in case you were wondering, by the way, let uh, this little fella hit me a little. Yeah. Ha! Now, that's enough. Hands off. Hands off, guy. I... Ah, that was the last warning. Okay, uh, the good news is that uh, the boots of striding can be placed inside uh, somewhere where it's working our talisman of repair, and they will be repaired. How pervy is that? So, what else can I tell you? Yes, Mistcraft. We are going today to work a little with Mistcraft because I want to see what can we discover. So first, we are going to craft ourselves a notebook. The notebook is a pretty important piece of uh, the mod that lets you build your own notes and eventually your own ages. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I am going to need a fairly high amount of books, but uh, for now these seven should suffice, and I am going to turn at least four of them into linking books. Linking books are non-stack uh, uh, items that won't stack, but are exceedingly important. Without them, there is uh, very hard to be able uh, to come back from where we are going. Another thing I am going to do is to craft myself uh, some sticks, which I am going to break into this. Six link book stands. These are essentially uh, stuff you place, for example, in here. So we can place books in there. Uh, three in here is more than enough because I am going to take the other rest with me. I'm also going to take uh, much better. Yeah. I'm also going to take some cobblestone with me, and you can see I already burned a huge amount of cobble. I was a little tired of the thingy. And now we need to craft ourselves some sort of travel methods, missiles. For that we're going to need feathers. Three should be more than enough for now, however I'm going to need one more for another thingy. And I'm going to need some ink, uh, which should be with the rest of... Nope, it's not in here. Ah, of course, it's in the researching materials, I believe. Yeah some ink and let me check the recipe because I don't really remember 
it. And uh, it will be fairly hard to find. Oh, let's look. Ah, here it is. Yeah. Not really hard to do. No. So, <clears throat> essentially, we are going to craft ourselves a new sort, uh, some sort of uh, crafting table. However, it is not really a crafting table. Uh, it's a little hard to explain, but here, see? However, it is not, as I said, a crafting table. And th we need to disable an AI to interact properly with this uh, graphical user interface. You can see there are several markups in here. Essentially, you craft uh, traveling books, and then by placing them in here, you will be able to translate their capabilities to here allowing you eventually to write your own books and writing your own books is nice so descriptive books these are the ones we are writing essentially you can use them as they are <coughs> let me place here this and yeah that's that's good enough so you can place them in this stance Uh, just right click onto them you can see H50, H51 or you can hold them and then drop and again we are here like we like uh, if we were traveling through the nether <coughs> remember if it is important to go with your linking books I suggest saving before going there just in case and uh, the game is taking a little while. Okay, it's because of the... Oh dear! And you can see there are several monoliths. If you look... Uh, okay, it's night, dusk, whatever. There's some sort of... Uh, there are several things that can change in this world. For example, the time uh, the biomes, and you can see I am in a super flat map and on layer 129, which means it's super high too and you can gather all these materials hey look! one of our arms so uh, essentially it is like uh, having access to a new kind of uh, nether it's just, uh, well, new And ouchie. You can see here we have found. Hey, this is good. This uh, no longer shows us gray. We have found some nice little good uh, woods. Haha. <laughs> so essentially, <coughs> we now have uh, the option of accessing to different worlds. And there seems to be something in white in there. Ah, of course, this is <laughs> this is a cloud. Believe it or not, we are so high where there are clouds in there. <coughs> and yeah, I can gather all the resources I want in here, take them back to to the overworld, so to speak, and enjoy them in there. <laughs> yeah, we we can do that. Yes. However, it is uh, usually a good idea to prepare a base for going back and it could be also good to have uh, some sort of saving point in here. I'm not sure if we can place uh, a bed in here. Let's try it. Uh, this might be, might be like... Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to do something a little odd. Well, I am going first to equip my boots of striding. striding. I am going to build my base uh, without touching anything, and I'm not going uh, to build a big base because uh, I am not sure if this will. Well, 
have troubles. You know, we have may, uh, written our very first book and there's quite possible that something called instability will uh, start to kill it, to destroy all these worlds. And what's this? Oh! <laughs> Oil! Oh dear! Let's mark this, shall we? <coughs> so there is uh, already a good reason to remain in here. There's oil spawning in, in this world. <coughs> uh, also, uh, I already told you there are monoliths. There are... and there are all the other different uh, resources we can find in, our, in the normal world. Essentially, this is like having another copy of the of the normal overworld. See, here we are. <coughs> Sorry, if I manage not to draw myself, that is that is. Anyway, uh, we need to f uh, craft ourselves a base so we can go back and hopefully not. Uh, well, if we die, we won't suffer in some ill effect. Let me think for a second. Where do, uh, do I have my Philosopher's Stone? Okay, I don't know if this is going to blow up. In the nether, it does. In here, maybe. Maybe not. So let's try it like... Hey! We can! So we can place uh, a bed in here. Perfect. So I'm going to build a nice uh, small house without touching anything. And I'll be back with you as soon as I finish. Okay, and there are monsters. See, there's a spider in there, another in there. And look at how nice the sky looks. It's impressive. Really? Oh, there we are. That's, uh, I believe, what I told you before, the decay. Or was it here before? Mm, not sure. Oh, maybe, since you can see. We had some trouble with uh, falling, falling grass. Oh, brainy zombies. Great. Rainy, 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 coming! Oops. Should be a little more careful. Uh, lots of monsters, lots of troubles. Let me build my strength. And a little higher walls. So monsters won't be spawning in here, by the way. And... Uh, Oh well, of course, some light would be nice to have. Yes. Essentially the world is uh, falling apart. It's being destroyed by its own instability. That's because we don't really know how to build this kind of, uh, of worlds. We are noobs at, the, at this, and the only way of um, of making them right is essentially, well, trial and error, believe it or not. You can see now there are several problems in there. So I am going to build quickly something and get out of here ASAP because I don't want to get trapped. Of course, this is the reason I uh, built this little place in here so I can, well, reach my... avoid being drowned, so to speak. So let's place uh, a link book stand in, in here and let's place a linking book. This goes to the overworld. And look how nice is, are the colors out there. I'm... Oh well. Can I sleep? Seems like I can. 
which is great. <clears throat> okay, all the zombies are burning. Creepers are creeper, uh, creeping. Haha. <laughs> Creepers gonna creep. The skeletons, smart guys as they are, remain under the shadow of the trees. And yeah, you can see the floor is coming apart. I'm going to check here quickly if the if the nice well the oil doesn't seem to be other haha <laughs> so it doesn't really matter the point is that uh, this has not to be not touching anything so if I do this we should be okay at least for now I hope If not, then we will have a problem. Okay. See how everything is falling apart? <coughs> so I'm going to build a little platform up to my vase, hopefully. And I will be back with you when I finish. Now, one of the good things of these boots is that, uh, let, let me check for a second, oh they are, lag spike, more things being destroyed. I can jump up, jump up up to three blocks without much trouble. This allows for really, really interesting, well, really interesting setups, so monsters won't be eating me. So, let's try to go back to the overworld. Traveling, saving chunks. I'm down to 8 frames per second while traveling. Okay, we're now good. Everything I took there is with me. And you can see uh, the book is in the floor. I can pick it uh, by, left, uh, by right, right clicking. And if I place <coughs> the descriptive book in here, we now have added to the notebook all its characteristics. It's a normal biome, plains, with forest hills, jungle hills, with colorized fog. Standard lighting, fast time, meaning night and day <coughs> go really fast. It's flat and it has normal sunset colors. So the problem must be because of this. Usually when you pick up several biomes, problems arise. <coughs> So essentially this has been this has been this has been it so to speak I'm going to craft myself a small quick uh, surviving gear but uh, and I will be traveling to the other to the other well two books the important thing is to collect as many data as you can oh and by the way if you're wondering Leaves of uh, Thumbcraft don't have any EMC value, but normal leaves have an EMC value of 1. Just in case you wanted to know it. And the descriptive book, we left it in here, yes. We now come place it in here, I believe. And uh, I don't know if we can rename it. I believe, yes, we can, but uh, right now I I don't remember how. Let me see, can, could we, oh yes, 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 here we can rename it, mm. <coughs> vale, uh, oh sorry, sorry for my gratuity Spanish right now, uh, <coughs> oil flatman KO, perfect, that should be descriptive, descriptive enough. It has a nice uh, oil deposit. It's falling apart. That's the KO, and it's flat. That's why the flat map. So that's it.
time to distribute things and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, now the second attempt of traveling. Again, left, uh, right click and it might take a while. And we're now traveling to another realm. Let's hope this one is not as unstable as the last one and it won't be breaking up so quickly. Let's see how this H51 is. And if you want to... Oh, snow biome. If you want to know about this, uh, I suggest you to look... Oh, bees. Cool bees. <laughs> Never uh, the better apply appliance. If you want, you can... Uh, what was the name? What was I talking about? Uh... Ah, yes. You can uh, check out for Mist in the wiki, but if you really want to have some fun and pick up everything you want and, well, have some loves and enjoy it, I suggest you to look up uh, in tvtropes.org. It's a fairly funny place that will... well... It's uh, <laughs> it's like nine gag really in that uh, it will take your soul away from you, but uh, worry not, it's not really evil. It's not that nine gag is, it's just oh well. Oh, and there's not eternal night time. Good to know. Yeah, really good to know. Oh dear, oh dear, how high can I jump with this? Anyway. Uh, this is essentially what I'm going to do now. I'm going to build another base and this time out of wood, but uh, I will be using I will, I will be placing it here near the the monolith, not because of anything in particular, just because I'm curious to see if this starts to decay, what's going to happen to the monolith. <coughs> mm. Okay, the minimal you can do is a 3x3, three three, but I suggest doing a little better than that. And while we don't really need to use... Um, to give it walls or the like, it's nice to have. Okay, first the bed, so let's place it in here. Perfect. And now a little protection to the sides to make sure we are not being we are not going to be shot till death. And we need more wood. <coughs> okay. As you can see things are again falling apart. Well maybe because of the mods, I don't know. But uh, when I tried the latest version, um, which uh, was 0.8.1, the game took a little while longer to start decaying. Maybe I was a little more fortunate when it came to that. By the way, at, at which we're at weight uh, 71, not really that, uh, that much higher. And another Thumbcraft slime. Yes, I know my mouse is doing strange stuff every now and then. Oh dear. I was attacked by two Thumbcraft, uh, Thumbcraft slimes. Oh dear. Okay, let's go and try some experiment in here. <clears throat> and as I said, it's uh, advisable to be really, really careful when it comes to, well, <coughs> work with these systems, because you might get yourself trapped. Yes, this is true. There is a possibility you will get trapped into one of these worlds, and you will lose all your progress. Be advised of that, people. It is not a joke. It can happen. 
it's uh, stated by the maker of the mod and it is uh, well um, uh, it is well it's not hard to avoid really that's why I set up here a bed and all that stuff <coughs> mm. okay now if there is important to protect the books if you let them to be on the floor they will decay with time essentially they will I don't know they will they will get wet or something and they, and they will get destroyed if if uh, <coughs> if they get uh, if, if it rains and picks them and uh, well they can't be stilled I suppose by the citizens of this realm, they certainly can, <coughs> uh, well, be destroyed because, well, they are they are they are drop, and if you let them on the floor, they will eventually despawn. Mm. Okay, let's build here another layer, and then I can start building something else, a platform. Yes, as you can see, I am treating this uh, system essentially as if it were some sort of uh, skyblock, just in case. Perfect. And seems the trace minimap has a slight trouble with this system, but if you are not, we can b go back to the overworld and check this uh, book out. See, we all they uh, we always spawn <coughs> where we uh, created our linking books, and I don't have any more linking books, or do I have them in here? Yeah, I have it in here. Okay, and let me think for a second. Oh, the bees! I don't really know what to do with the bees. Let's uh, leave them here. They could. Ah, they won't stack. Uh, I was going to to do to, to, to check. Yes. So normal biome distribution, nothing new here. Mushroom Island, sure. Interesting. Frozen Ocean. This is another. Taiga Hills, Standard Lightning, Fast Time, Flat, Normal Sunset Colors. So we only got uh, ourselves the Mushroom Island Shore, Frozen Ocean and Taiga Hills. There are several <coughs> different uh, details you can find with uh, these books. Let me uh, change the name to Iceland, for example. It's all snowy after all. And yes, if you were wondering, time has had passed in here. See? Some stuff is in here, not really much, but still. And uh, it's night time. Also, there is something new from some craft you need to know, and those are the symbols. <coughs> mm, let me see. No. Nope. <coughs> or emblems or something. I don't remember the name right now. But uh, I'm talking about those those things you you can place in any surface. Uh, that see a decay block, and they will uh, allow you to place some sort of uh, well different. Uh, Essences here they are uh, arcane, arcane seals. You place an arcane seal in any surface, be it uh, floor, roof, uh, <coughs> a wall. Then you add the, the essences you want. Okay. Well, uh, it looks like in the last update, the author of Thumbcraft 2 added the, uh, two new seals, uh, magic and earth. I believe it was uh, acts like. Uh, our anchor block in there, but if you make it uh, magic earth and earth, it will keep loaded um, a 5x5 five five area. So if we were to place it in this in this uh, in this area, in this chunk, it would reach <coughs> uh, 
up to up to our, uh, half our forestry farm, uh, our whole mm. uh, sugarcane farm, the whole pen, and most of our of our uh, uh, well <coughs> wheat farm. And yeah, you can see I have an enormous amount of. Uh, cattle in here. I believe they reproduce by themselves sometimes. Yes, I know chickens do, but uh, I swear I hadn't feed so much cows and pigs and sheep. Oh well. And it seems like... yeah, it's stuck. Sometimes, uh, for some reason, the outer ring uh, uh, farming cards will get stuck, but worry not. Just uh, opening the inventory will unstuck it. So that was it for this episode. I believe this is a good wrapping up point. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. I will explore in the meantime this uh, third age, and I will try to find a stable one essentially so I will be able to mine it to my heart's content and uh, of course I need to start uh, making um, buildcraft system somehow, somewhere I am running out of space might might need, uh, I might be expanding this a little in this direction after all if I finally if I craft that uh, 5x5 symbol, I can place it where the anchor is and let the anchor to work with some minecart and expand my house in that direction up to two blocks and it will add to two chunks, sorry, and it will keep it will it will be kept loaded. Oh, and finally, I fin I added here a chest um, filter. And uh, now I can fill this system. How are we? 97 bs, 393, 393 taint. A little too much taint for my taste test. Taste test. Mm. I really need that well. <coughs> yeah, this crystalline fell. Needs to research it. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Uh, goodbye and have fun, people.